I sorry about that. So I don't know what happened, but my Facebook live video was just being weird. So welcome. Thank you for joining today's live video. So as you all know, I am all about self-improvement and um, just mystical and spiritual and um, just modern day spirituality type stuff. So I'm about this. I'm about self um, and not to say that I'm selfish, but I'm also about like trying to help other people to go within, uh, feel better about themselves, um, help them in any way that I can with their life as far as what's helped me with my life. And what are you doing? Oh my goodness, my computer is just, okay, sorry about that, y'all. Okay, so if you can see me and hear me, please just drop a one in the comment section. That way um, I know that it's going through and everything. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Like I was saying, I'm all about helping other people improve their life as my life has been improved um, through certain things, ways. I just like sharing my personal experience in order to try to help somebody else. Let's just put it that way. So um, 12 ways to feel better about yourself. I have wrote them down or feel better um, on the inside, should I say. So um, one of the things that can really help you this computer is tripping one of the things one of the ways that can really help you one of the things you can do that can really help you to feel better on the inside and this is going to be a longer video just so you guys know if you want to come back and watch the replay that's completely fine i'm okay with that like it will probably be on youtube and i'll probably share the link later um once i'm done with this live video it will no longer be available on facebook so you will have to go check it out on youtube um so if you're watching the replay, you're on YouTube. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Please subscribe um, and drop some comments. Let me know how these things have helped you. If anything has helped you in any type of way to feel better on the inside of something that I don't mention, um, drop it in the comment section. OK, um, you never know who you who will be reading your comment and how it can help them. So we're all about humanity and helping one another. OK, so the first way is. And as hard as it might seem, especially if you're going through a rough time, is finding the joy in every moment. Okay, so this may take a little bit um, just intentionally going and finding the joy in the moment. So if something's going on, something's happening, just finding something to smile about, finding something to be happy about, being optimistic. Okay, that's one of the ways that you can find joy in every moment. And that's one of the ways that will help you to feel better on the inside in the long run. It might take a little bit for you to be able to actually find the joy in the inside or find the joy in every moment. Um, because if you're going through a rough time, it might not be the first thing that you want to do. Okay. Um, we are programmed to complain and moan and groan and just find everything that's wrong in a situation. And we really need to snap out of that and get away from that and that takes me to the second thing that can help you feel better on the inside and that's taking responsibility for your life um not blaming others for what happens to you because whatever happens to you is actually happening for you um, and then once you start looking at it from that perspective things will really start to change for you um you really just have to have an optimistic um, perspective and outlook on things um in order to continue to bring optimistic things to you. Um, the law of attraction says whatever you think about, you bring about. So if you're thinking about negative things, the only thing that's going to happen is that you're going to attract more negative things. So you really have to start um, thinking more positively. Um, and like I said, taking responsibility for your life. Um, stop playing the victim role. Okay. And that is a hard truth, but no matter, it's still the truth. Okay. The victim never wins, okay? Um, just playing victim means like um, feeling like or thinking that everything is out to get you, everyone's out to get you, like it happened to you instead of for you. 
um, and just having a negative approach and negative outlook on whatever is going on in your life. Um, and somebody that just complains all the time, like cry babies all the time, not crying, like emotional because that, that's okay. Like emotional crying, like when you cry, it's a release. So that's okay. Just attention seeking and stuff like that. Like that's not cool. So you should really step away from that. Um, and that's just for yourself. Like, yeah, it might irritate and bug other people. It's not really about anybody else. It's about you. So just trying to stay more on the positive, like I said, positive, optimistic outlook of things um, and taking responsibility for your life. And taking responsibility just means like, okay, so here's what happened. Here's how I had a hand in it. Here's here's how I can look at it differently to just make myself feel better. Um, sorry about the sun. I mean, I'm not sorry about the sun. I'm just sorry about how the lighting is. Yeah, y'all can hear me and see me, so that's good. Okay, moving on. Number three, um, way a number. The the third thing that um, can help you feel better on the inside um, is your diet. Um, drinking plenty of water. Um, you know, eating healthy foods. Um, so something that you can do to kind of push yourself into that kind of lifestyle and stuff like that is um, just go in your kitchen and make something healthy for you. I mean, cook something healthy for somebody else um, or your family, your children. If you don't have any children or if you're alone um, or just for yourself, you don't have to cook a healthy meal. I mean, you should probably cook something for your children as well. But um, I mean, if they've already ate, you know, just take that time to yourself. Um, just go in there and make something healthy uh, for yourself. Um, really watch what you're eating. Um, try not to indulge in too many things that you know aren't good for you. Um, and I know that that can take a little bit of time, you know, to kind of get into the swing of a diet. But just one of the ways that can help you feel better is by um, eating more healthy foods. Um, drinking more water. Make yourself a warm. Make yourself a warm glass of tea. Chamomile is one of my favorites at this very moment. I don't know what it is about the smell of chamomile tea. I do. No, actually, um, and it's weird, but it smells like a hospital to me. And I love the smell of hospitals. I don't know why. Please don't ask me why because I don't know. I just do. Okay. <laughs> so make yourself, number three is just about like what you're eating, what you're drinking. Make yourself something healthy. Make something for you that's going to make you feel better on the inside and you know is good for you and you know is going to be good for your body, taking care of your body. Okay. Moving on. Number four, if you guys haven't already seen my YouTube video on the, um, self-care bathing ritual. Um, I'll be sure to try and share that, post it, um, put it in the description if you're on YouTube. Yeah, <clears throat> just making yourself a nice warm bath, maybe have some candles, some bath salts, some bath bombs, some incense, fresh flowers, um, anything that you really just enjoy. Just splurge on yourself. If you don't have any of those things and you want to go to the store, go to Dollar Tree. They have plenty of bath bombs. Um, they have plenty of bath salts. If you don't want to go to Dollar Tree, Walmart has everything that you might need. Um, any other store, Target, um, just wherever you are, apply it to yourself. Go to the store if you don't already have those things and just buy some stuff for yourself um, for that specific bathing ritual. Um, like some can, like I said, light some candles, light some incense, um, puts you some little, uh, healing frequencies in the background, um, just for self love and self care. Um, just love yourself. That's another way that you can feel better. That's the bonus on how you can feel better on the inside is just by taking care of yourself and your body, mind, soul, spirit, all of those things. Okay. Number five. And this is actually a new one that I have recently thought of. Um, so, and it might be a little bit um, of a more anxious thing for some people um, because it's tell a stranger your happy story. 
So everybody has a happy story, okay? A story that you can tell verbally um, to someone else, and it just instantly gets you in a better mood. Um, so, for example, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys my happy story, my current happy story. I have a lot of happy stories, but my current happy story is um, when my son started walking. So I was standing by the door. He was standing up. He had already been like been able to pull himself up and walk around like holding on to stuff. But when he started walking on his own, it was just so magical. So what had happened was I was standing in the doorway and he was standing up holding onto the door frame. My bed is here and the door frame is here. So he walked from, he just let go of the door frame and just walked straight from the door frame to the bed without being prompted, without being encouraged or anything like that. He just went. And I was standing there and I was able to watch the entire thing. I didn't say a word. All I know is whenever I seen him walking from one corner of the room to the next corner of the room, I immediately got excited. I started jumping up and down, screaming, squealing, just over excited. But I allowed myself to do that because that's my son and that's my child. Like it's his first steps on him. Like that's my happy story pretty much. And going out and just telling you guys that story, I have already raised my vibration. I have already lifted myself into a higher frequency just off of telling somebody or speaking that out into the universe, my happy story, something of high vibration and high frequency. So um, if you don't have anybody to tell that story to, or if you want to just put yourself out there, when I, like, when I go to Walmart, <clears throat> I go to Walmart a lot just so y'all know. So like when I go out, I do have a bit of anxiety um, as far as like feeling like people are judging me and stuff like that. But it's just way back in the back of my mind. Like I don't give it that much attention um, just because I don't have to and I don't want to, but it's still there. So in order for me to get myself out of that, I like to talk to people that I don't know. And it's hard for some, it might be hard, but you just have to do it. Um, just to help yourself get over it. And so like just speaking to, speaking to someone um, that you don't know and just and put yourself out there. Just go up to that person and be like, hey, how are you? And they'll probably respond with, hi, I'm doing good. I'm fine. Most people say I'm fine. Like, I'm fine. How are you? And then I'll just be like, I'm great. Um, can I tell you a story? Like, I'm just going, I just want to tell you something that um, happened to me recently. Is it okay if I tell you my story? Um, you just have to be really optimistic and upbeat and confident in yourself and just put yourself out there. Like, just have that confidence. Embody the confidence that you need in order to have that conversation and tell a stranger your happy story. Help you to raise your vibration and your frequency, but it will also help them in some way, shape or form. The, the energy is going to transmute to them and it's gonna make their day better. Okay, it's about you mostly, like for yourself, it's about you, but it's also about helping and reaching out to other people and just being someone, being that person to just uplift yourself and others. Okay, moving on, number six, go for a walk. Just go for a walk. Don't take, you know, music because I mean, nature is its own music. Don't take your headphones, don't take any electronic devices, except maybe your phone if you're going far. Take your kids to the park. Just go walk around in nature. Be in nature and listen to what nature has to offer. If you're in like a big city, then I would still like, I'm pretty sure there's parks, you know, you can go somewhere. Um, maybe you can drive somewhere and then go for a walk. I know it sounds, you know, kind of like defeating the purpose, but just whatever works for you, um, do that. Go for a walk, be in nature, um, go around some running water, some fresh running water like a river, a lake. Um, just go be in nature. Go for a walk. Enjoy, you know, being in nature. Okay, so that's number six. Number seven is so simple. Meditate um, is a way that you can feel better on the inside. And it's just to release any negative you know, anything just to kind of bring yourself back to center, ground yourself. Um, 
if you are having any issues, like you you don't know how to meditate or you are, um, you're new to meditation, download an app. My favorite app, the one that I used when I first started meditating was Calm, C-A-L-M. Um, they have a lot of uh, meditations on there or just go on YouTube and search guided meditation. Do five minutes, five minute guided meditation, 10 minute guided meditation. Work your way up. Meditation has many, many, many benefits. I actually have another video on what is meditation, and I will link that one also so you can check that one out. So meditate. It's going to help you feel better on the inside. It's all about helping yourself feel better on the inside, right? Meditation is one of those things. Okay, so number eight is help someone else. So whatever way you know will work for you to be able to feel better on the inside and will help someone else um, do that. So like where I'm at, we have a lot of people that stand and on the on the side of the road, on the side of a busy road and have a sign. They say no soliciting, but people will do it because they need to do it. Um, and don't feel bad about giving somebody that's standing on the corner money or food or anything like that. Um, I know a lot of people will say, well, they might just be faking or they might have this and that and da, 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 da. that's not up to you to decide as real as it, like as hard as it sounds, it's real and it's the truth. Okay. If you see somebody nine times out of 10, if you see somebody standing on the corner, that is the universe testing you to see if you are up to the task. You don't have to give them a million dollars. You don't have to give them $20. A couple of, I passed by this woman. We passed by this woman the other day. I had $1 bill in my wallet and I gave it to her. That's all I had in my wallet. So, you know, like you don't have to, it's not about how much you give. It's the fact that you helped somebody else. So as far as that goes, don't worry about, you know, if they're faking or if they're not. That's not something that you have to deal with at the end of the day, because if they are faking, that's their karma, not yours. So you don't really have to worry about that. Um, just give out of the kindness of your heart. Those who love are giving. OK, so the next one is read a good book. It can be fiction. It can be nonfiction. Um, just reading in general. I like I like to read a lot of um, nonfiction books like this one. <laughs> this one is actually about meditation. Um, I got this from Barnes and Noble for like eight books. Um, I like to read a lot of uh, self-help and inspirational and stuff that's going to help me in my life. Like, yeah, stories about murder mysteries and, um, you know, just different uh, fictional stuff. That's cool and all. I'm not knocking it. I just don't find myself too interested these days in fictional books. I like to read non-fictional, self-help, um, stuff like that. So whatever suits your fancy, you do that, okay? Read a book. Just take that time, quiet time. Like It's just going to help you feel better. It really is. Um, and the next one, number 10, is smile. Even if you don't feel like smiling, smile anyway. What's that song? When you smile, the whole world smiles with you. Just smile. Go in the mirror for five minutes a day, just looking at yourself and smiling. It does seem like a difficult task for some, and it might seem difficult at first, but do it anyway. It's going to help you feel better in the long run. Just smile. I like to smile as soon as I wake up in the morning. First thing, when I'm aware that I'm awake, I am smiling. Okay? I'm just smiling because it's about how you feel. And smiling really does help you feel better on the inside. It helps to it helps to release um, serotonin in your brain and it helps to make you feel happy and make you feel better. Um, just know that whatever it is that you're going through, like you don't have to look at it in a negative way. You don't have to feel bad about it. Like, yes, it might seem like something that is just down, low, 
bad, negative, any of those things. It just depends on how you look at it, really. You have to be understanding of any and all situations, even your own, and just go with it. Because whatever's happening is happening for you rather than to you. Remember that. Okay. Number 11 is affirmations. Now, a lot of people know what affirmations are. If you don't, that's okay. Affirmations are just something that you say um, in regards to yourself. So like, I am healthy. That's an affirmation. I love myself. That's an affirmation. And saying those out loud really helps to create your reality. It really does. And that has a lot to do with the law of attraction. Um, I'm going to be making a video soon on what is the law of attraction. So for those of you that are new to that, um, please be sure to stay tuned, subscribe, follow me, all of those things. I'll be making a video on that very soon. Um, so yeah, affirmations, use affirmations. I am happy. I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am wise. Those are all affirmations. Use those on a daily basis, more than one time a day, about three times a day. First thing in the morning, whenever you go into that mirror and you go to smile because that's what you're trying to do to make yourself feel. That's what you're doing to make yourself feel better on the inside. Just go in there, smile, and say those affirmations out loud. It might seem weird at first. Don't look at it that way. Try to look at it as, you know, like if you have other people around you, it might seem like an awkward situation. Like, why is, why is that person in the bathroom saying those things? Don't think of it that way. Just take care of yourself. Okay. It's about you at the end of the day, your world does revolve around you. Like whenever I was growing up, I heard a lot of people say the world doesn't revolve around you. You're right. This world does not revolve around me, but my world does. And I have to take care of me self care. Okay. So number 12, last but not least, and my favorite, and that's what I'm about to do today to help myself feel better on the inside. And because I'm also taking a break from a lot of different things, like there's just some things that I'm going to be cutting out of my life as far as like on my phone, there's no more social media on my phone. I'm not going to like, I, I'm not going to have Instagram. I'm not going to have Facebook. Um, the only thing I'll be doing for Facebook is like on my computer, like I am right now. Um, there's just, I'm just cutting out a lot of things. I'm taking a break from a lot of things, should I say. So one of the things that I'm doing, because it's something that I want to do and it's something that I love is binge watching your favorite TV show. So my favorite TV show is The Office and I'm going to be binge watching all nine seasons. I'm on season three right now, actually. Um, so yeah, binge watch your favorite TV show. If you've got Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, whatever you're into, just don't put all of your time into that. Um, binge watching is nice. It's fun. It's cool. And watching your favorite TV show is going to help you to just relax and feel better. Just don't make it a long-term thing because you have so many amazing things that you could be doing, um, in the long run, um, whatever your life purpose is, whatever your goal is. And that ladies and gentlemen is 12 ways to make yourself feel better on the inside. I hope that one of these helped you in some way, shape, or form. Um, if you have any other things that maybe help you, make sure you drop it in the comment section because you never know who's going to be reading the comment and you never know how it can help and, and um, affect and impact their life in a major positive way. So um, have a beautiful day. I love you. I love you and peace be with you. And um, yeah, I hope you guys have a lovely day. Like, thank you for watching. Um, if you're watching this on Facebook, please um, follow me. If you were, if, if this is something that you want to do, follow me if you want to. If you're on, what in the world is it doing? If you're on YouTube, make sure you subscribe. Okay, hold on just a second, y'all. I'm trying to end the video, but it's being really weird. Oh, gosh. Okay, so... Yeah, I'll see you guys later. And while I'm trying to figure out why it's not letting me end the video. <laughs> oh, God. Okay.